Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. When we last left off, we were tearing our way through World Flower, and it's been a bit of a riot so far. I've played a little bit of this off camera, um, and I've managed to get all the way down to the final level. Which, oh boy. <laughs> also, we're going to be doing this one last. Blast Block Skyway. Because when I was uh, practicing it, um, it took over an hour and I lost 40 odd lives on it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're going to leave that one on the old back burner and we're going to come back to that. But we're going to start off with a pipeline boom. Let's go. Yeah, that was uh, pretty crazy, to be honest. But, you know, it's not too bad. Ah, we start off on one of these. Uh... Oh, I love these levels. If only there was a Mario game that was completely pretty much set at the beach. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, right. Yes, they did do that, didn't they? Okay, now, I don't know if those hidden frog guys are actually still here somewhere. And God damn it! would you believe that I have forgotten to bring my coffee in from the kitchen? You probably would believe that if you've been watching me for a uh, X amount of time. Because that's definitely something I would do. Alright, anyway. Let's destroy these statues. Nothing really that fancy within. That's fine. Whoop! Oh, you know, I could run around a Mario level like this all freaking day. With those steel drums playing. Ugh. Alright, let's get going. Let's take out these guppy dudes. They're not actually called guppy dudes. I don't know their name. Probably some kind of spin on guppy. But right, let's have a little look around here. We've got a goomba. My brother actually three three D printed me a uh, goomba for Christmas. And um, yeah, I'm not going to show it because well, uh, it's probably. <laughs> A correct uh, model, biologically, if you catch my drift. Right, let's go. Yeah, turns out there's lots of funny uh, 3D printable models that you can actually get these days. Including Goombas with massive dongs, apparently. Yeah, it's a thing. It, it, it's, I didn't really know what to say about it, really. But I was just like, okay, that's cool. That can go on my shelf of interesting things. And the amount of people that have seen it, and they're like, oh, cool, you got a Goomba figure. That's not a regular Goomba figure. No, no. Anywho, enough thinking about Goomba Dong. And let's carry on. Yeah, this block here actually has quite a lot of coins. Well, okay, I thought it had quite a lot of coins. Maybe it doesn't have as many coins as I thought it did. Hey, certainly be having that bad boy. Yeah, so these levels uh, start to get somewhat difficult, as you would imagine. When we've lost our cannon, that's bad. We need our cannon. Not the Goomba cannon. The Mario cannon. There we go. Okay. Now let's slowly murder our way through the ocean. Because we don't really care about natural wildlife in this ocean, and that's what we need the cannon for. Oof, okay. First, first one down. First start of three. Not bad, Mario. Not bad. All right, well, we're going to get ourselves a nice little checkpoint there. We're going to be missing those checkpoints. There's some levels coming up where they have very savage checkpoints and one in particular that I can think of that I've already mentioned yeah I was pretty salty about that level and the thing is I know the level itself isn't that hard it's just I'm not great at Mario <laughs> apparently and that's okay I've never been a star Mario player all right, what have we got here? Last one. Ugh. There we go. Come on. Come on. 
There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then behind one of these, there is time, I believe. Yes, there we go. Now, that's the only one that actually has anything of value behind it. From actually, that's not true. Ah, uh, if we... Can we get a cannon from somewhere? Is there a cannon around here? I don't think we can get behind this, can we? No, probably not. No, we're definitely going to need a cannon. Well, we're not going to need a cannon, but... God damn it. I can actually show something off if we do have a cannon. Alright, cool. That will do. Now, if we don't horribly get murdered, that would be even better. Somewhere. Oh! Oh no, there it is. There's the cannon. Or the pipe, I should say. Leads us out here. And as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I'm aware, I should say, there's nothing here apart from these guys. Which is fine. We like extra coins. Just a little Brucey secret. Brucey bonus. Now let's get out of here. Also, there's another Brucey bonus back here. Come on. Now if we are stomp here, we should get... Yep, another life. Excellent. Beautiful. And boom, baby. Now, do I pause the recording and go get my um, caffeine-enriched liquid? Uh, nah. I'll be alright. I haven't got the jitters yet, so it's fine. Alright, not bad. Not bad, Mario. Not bad at all. So, next... Oh, this level's cool. I'm a fan. Towering Sun... What's that? Towering Sunshine Seaside. Oh, this level's wonderful. It's actually a really good level for stocking up on power-ups as well. It led to go. Only 100 seconds on the clock. That is not a lot of seconds. That is really not a lot of seconds. Plenty of ways of actually getting this level done, to be honest. But we do need a fire flower. More seconds. Uh, more seconds. Right. Let's start working on this. So the rub with this one is we need to kill these towers, but we kind of need to get rid of... Oh, no. We need to get rid of the cannon. That's kind of awkward. The cannon is not going to help us out. Right. Hit me. Hit me, bro. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me, bro. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. God damn it. You know what? Let's just start again. Don't pick up a cannon because you're going to cock block yourself. You don't want to cock block yourself, right? It's bad enough when other people do it. Let alone when you do it to yourself. There we go. That'll do, donkey. And the reason is, we want to light the fires. A little bit like so, to grab that. You know, kind of, kind of important. There we go. And I suppose now we can get a cannon. Stop. Playing with the trees, Mario. Get the cannon, lamp. Honestly, man. You're farting around like we have all the time in the world. Alright, good. One tower down. Now, there's a couple of uh, shells there, of course. We don't need them. Could probably use them for something. I don't know what. I can't see them being that useful here, to be honest. There we go. That'll do. We're kind of running out of time here. Not being very efficient. Look at that leaning tower of Goombas over there. Yeah, we need to kind of deal with that. After we've dealt with this guy. Now, we can't get through there. More power-ups here. Which are nice. We like power-ups. They make us happy on an internal level. Now... This is where things are going to get a little bit rough. Come on. Come on. Keep killing. Keep killing. Must kill faster. Must kill faster. Okay. Not bad. Now, there is some more time behind us, but no time for tears. We need to get out of here. Whew. All right. Short and sweet, that one. Short and sweet. 
happy with that. I actually thought we were going to fail that, to be honest. Kind of felt like we were wasting a lot of time. And we actually did, but that's okay. It's a little bit more generous than I was giving it credit for. <clears throat> nice. So. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm really putting that one off. Oh, I can't put it off forever, though, can I? Oh, God damn it. You know what? That's just fine. That's just fine. We'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll have a think about doing that one. I literally have, like, Nam flashbacks from that one. Although, obviously not really. Right, okay. Let's keep going. Oh, Jesus. This is another actually fairly short level. In fact, quite a few of these feel short. That switch um, block level whatever it's called is also to be fair fairly short it's just a pain in the uh ball bag which you will see when we do it which may or may not be this video it's probably gonna be this video Oop. Oop. <sighs> forgot about those guys all right avoid the fire uh or you know maybe not That's fine. Looks like Doom Guy's been around here. I couldn't believe like they turned Doom into a Mario game. I yeah, that's so bizarre. Like playing Doom Eternal, like Doom 2016. I really enjoyed that game. Uh, I thought it was great. You know, I also enjoyed uh, Doom 3 as well. Oof. But yeah, Doom Eternal, I mean, it, I'm sure it's fine, but, you know, I don't really play Doom for, for it to be a platform game. I just, I'm very disappointed with that. Now, I'm pretty sure that's the direction Doom's going to go in now, which is a shame. But hey, if people like it, fair enough. It's one less game for me to buy, and to be fair... That's not necessarily a bad thing, because my backlog is uh, immense. And Game Pass is really not doing me any favours, either. Because, my god, as much as people keep telling me the Xbox and Game Pass doesn't have any games... Well, I'm going to argue that one. Okay, that actually makes things a little bit easier, losing one of those guys. Yeah, so Monster Hunter Rise has apparently now come to uh, Game Pass. And I'm just like, please stop. <laughs> please stop. Just give me a chance to complete some of these games. Oh, man. God, I wish. I wish I was a bum. I could just sit at home all day playing games. Oh. Right, let's go. I. Uh, ooh, God. <sighs> With the quickness. Hmm. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. It's ironic, isn't it? You know. You get yourself uh, a, a relatively good job. Um, you know, so you can afford all this cool shit that you've always dreamt of as a kid. And you get the job. And then you don't have any time to play all these games. Ah, oh, life's a bitch. Right, so. That level, this level here as well. Oof. Oof. This one's a little spicy. This one is definitely a little bit spicy. It's not bad, actually. Might benefit us being peach for this one. This is a fun level, but spicy. Have I t said that this level's spicy yet? Yeah, if you get caught in the uh, searchlights, the spikes come up. If the spikes come up, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, okay. How big is that searchlight? Let's wait for it to come back. There we go. Run! Run! Remember your training and you will make it back alive! Also, somebody once said somewhere. Now, 
great thing about the fursuit here, I'm going to call it a fursuit because I've been calling it a fursuit <laughs> in my head all this time and it's funny. So, the great... <laughs> oh, okay, it's not that funny. <laughs> it kind of actually is, but... Alright, so the great, thing, the great thing with the fursuit is we can take a running jump and kind of skip quite a lot of this uh, difficulty. Although, apart from the fact we've got a douchebag over there volleying fireballs at us, which makes things a little bit awkward, and we've lost our fursuit. God damn it. I'm told those things are very expensive. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, God. That's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is just peachy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're playing as Peach. Lel. Ah, die, you monster. More souls for the Empire. Excellent. Right, how are we doing? We're doing okay. Oh, we need a fursuit for this one. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, actually. Oh, my God, Peach. Yes. Why didn't I do this as Peach the first time? That would have been clever. Now, the best way I found of getting this star, actually, is to use the boomerang. You can use the fursuit, but it's questionable. Maybe this is questionable. Maybe I just got a lucky throw in the first time I did this. Yeah, maybe I did. Alright. Alright, suddenly, I'm not so confident with this. Nope. Nope. Okay, that works. That works. Right. Oh my god, Peach! Peach! Why didn't I use you for this the first time round? Titan, you fool! Uh. Okay. Oh, dude, Peach! God damn it! Why didn't I use Peach? Peach is the boss. Yeah, this bit kind of sucks. I never found an easy way. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I never found a foolproof way of getting that star. I'm pretty sure, obviously, there is one. Uh, it will involve... Hey, we get to get two fursuits. So, yeah. Uh, oof. Die. Yeah, there's no, like, flawless way of doing that that I've discovered anyway. There probably is, if you're, like, one of these godly uh, Mario players. And some people are just un believably good and thoroughly entertaining to watch. And then there's me. It just bimbles my way through Mario. Through the magic of editing, mostly. <laughs> I've said too much. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is just too easy. Watch me get completely destroyed. Oh, my God. Why did I not use Peach for this first time? I mean, admittedly, this level's not super hard. Uh, it took me about three or four t attempts to get through it. But, dude. Dude. What? All right. I mean, fine. Happy with that. <clears throat> Very happy with that. I thought that level was going to be a bit of an ass for a while. Happy to be wrong. But then most of the time I'm happy to be wrong, to be fair. I do spend a lot of time talking a large quantity of bollocks. Okay, so I haven't beaten this yet. I've only had a few attempts at it. Boss Blitz. Uh, it's exactly what it sounds. Uh, you have to fight all of the bosses. Oh, not all of them. Well, maybe all of them. Yeah, well, no, it's not all of them, is it? You have to fight a few bosses here. Uh, six of them back to back. That is not the problem. Because the bosses themselves are fairly easy, as we've seen. The problem is you have to do it all in one shot. But again, that's not really the problem. The problem is you have 400 seconds to do it all in. And there's a couple of bosses 
the first few bosses, I should say, that are really easy and you can crack them in a, a just, I don't know, 20 or so seconds each. Most of the bosses are like that. But then there are some really difficult um, bosses. Well, they're, they're not difficult, they're just time sinks. And yeah, uh, oof, ugh, stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Jesus. All right, well, we're going to do it. We're going to go to Blast Block Skyway. Now, I did consider originally just recording this one without commentary, but eh, I will if I have to, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> oh, Peach. Peach, forgive me for everything. Oh, God. Yeah, I appreciate it doesn't look difficult. Well, my... My guys, we haven't even got started yet here. So yeah, I lost roughly 40 lives on this level. Yep, ah, oh, we're playing as Peach, so we can't get that. All that does is spawn a load of coins. It's not that important. And I say it doesn't even spawn a load. It spawns about 10 coins, something like that. Uh, ooh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. And yep, they're going to throw dry bones and every bloody thing at us. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Whew. Right, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Okay. All right. Now, this is where I died. Basically, this bit here. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh. Oh, you son of a. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. Mistakes are happening. That's a fine. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Alright. Holy shit. Holy shit, I, I, okay, cool, great, excellent, I mean, yes, I meant to do that, I am just that good, oh no, we fucked it, we fucked it, now the good thing is, if we die, and I found this out by experience, if we die, we'll get another go, so no harm, no foul. Now we do lose the first suit, or the Tanuki suit. Eh, the Tanuki suit, oh no. The Tanuki suit is also another first suit, isn't it? Ah, oh, son of a bitch, that's fine. This is probably gonna get very unpleasant, Peach. And for that, I apologize. But, think of your sacrifice as a deed for the Empire. There we go, that actually probably worked out a little bit better. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Alright, not bad, not bad. Right, you, you turtle head, can die. Now. Alright, well, that's like the hardest part of this level. But this bit is... I wouldn't say it's easy, and that's a problem. That's a humongous problem. Because now we're going to get a mushroom instead of what we actually need. Yeah, we're probably not going to make it. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That's fine. This is a test run. Oh, run! Actually, because we're Peach, although it's not as good as the Tanuki, it's manageable. Peach. No! Peach! Peach! Son of a bitch. Alright, yeah, we, we... I don't know, you could do that. Yeah, you could. The Tanuki is... <clears throat> Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Just testing. Just testing. Right, yeah. You could do that without the Tanuki, for sure. But, man, does it make it easier. Ooh. Get out of here, dry bones. Alright, there we go. Alright, 
Alright. So, with the Tanuki suit, this bit isn't that difficult. You just gotta be careful. Just gotta be careful. Just bounce your ass when you start running out of steam. Oof. That was unpleasant. That was iffy. Right, okay. Oof. All right, okay. Okay. Right, not bad. All right, that could have gone so much worse. I expected that to go so much worse. I have shamed myself. I have shamed myself big time. <sighs> you know you shame yourself because you... Because you, um... Get that little block that completes the level for you. At least I think that's what it does. I'm not 100% sure how that block works. I've never used it. But I've got to be honest, I'm a little curious. Alright, let's go. We don't need to worry about getting that star now. So we can just kind of... Oh god, that was stressful. We can kind of just float to victory. There we go. Now, doing this without the Tanuki suit, oh man. No thank you. Like I say, with Peach, it's definitely possible, without a doubt. It's just... Oof, it will be a challenge. A serious challenge. For serious... Oh, that was lucky. For serious Mario players. Oh, seriously? We didn't quite get the flagpole? Son of a bitch. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know if you get anything for getting all the flagpoles. I'm going to say probably, but I'm not 100% sure what that would be. All right. Okay. So with that, we're kind of... Uh, what do we want on that? Okay, so we're kind of already there with world, world, world flower. I guess we'll take one go at this boss rush. And what I might do, the level that is a, or, um, actually, Peach might be good here, to be fair. This is the one that's a dick. <clears throat> this is where all my time is going to go. But playing as Peach, actually, might make this significantly easier. So there's two of them this time, which is fun. And if you are thinking to yourself, geez, I bet you've got to kill both of them, you'd be right. And they both have their individual health. Oh my god, with Peach, you can just float between them. You can float between... Guys, did you see that? You can just float between them. Like, literally. There's... Okay. Alright, well, we've got something to work with here. Okay. Okay, that didn't go very well. This is where we're going to be losing a lot of our time. Yeah. Because, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but a lot of times on this level, or this boss, I should say, I can't really see what I'm doing. Because there's quite a lot going on here. And that may sound like an excuse. And that might be an excuse. That's for me to know. Oof. Alright, okay. Okay. We're not having a lot of luck of bouncing between these guys, to be honest. It's not exactly going to plan. Come on, guys. Give me a platform. This is the other thing. You've got to wait for a platform to actually arise. Oh, we did it! Okay, that's probably, in fact, there is no probably. 
That's the best I've ever done there. Now, the trouble is, we don't have any power-ups. Uh, so we now have to do every other boss in this game without dying. Yeah, probably not going to happen. I'm going to say it right now. Probably not going to happen. We now have to defeat everybody else without getting hit once. This guy can also take a obscene amount of time. The way he uh, spends ages trying to orientate himself. But he's not too bad. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, the, like I say, the biggest trouble with this is the time limit. And the time limit is unbelievably tight. Or maybe I just haven't practiced enough, you know? Which is probably more likely. Alright, cool. He's done. And even when they're going through this death animation, your time is still ticking away. Okay. So, who's next? This one's not too bad. Okay. I can't remember what she's called now. But she's generally not too bad. You can kill her very, very quickly. Alright, two hits, one to go. Oh, there she is. Got her. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's just gather these up. Because we've got to gather these up sooner rather than later. Okay, this one also isn't too bad. Right, the only trouble is he does waste a lot of time when he goes into a bouncy boing mode. Come on, you little git. Time is money here, dude. Time is money. As much as I would love to do this first time, I can't see it happening. I'll be honest. Alright, not bad. Not bad. We still have, like, 200 seconds. Okay, that's not bad. This guy, oof, doing this guy without getting hit. This could be a challenge. I can do it, but oof, usually I get hit at least once. Alright. Uh, take it, you bastard. Oh. Okay, I just got hit like that. But yeah, so that is this. Um, one. And we're going to do that when we come back. I don't know the best strategy for this. I think Peach is where it's at because she can just save time uh, on the aristocrat enemies. But oof, this, this one's going to be rough because there's another boss that we have to do after all of this. After we clear the five that that you've just seen, there's one more. Oh, I think there's one more. It might be another one after. Ah, there, can't, there can't be. There cannot be. But, um, yeah. <laughs> we, we'll deal with that in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.